When I create a video for this channel, the one you're watching right now, I like to create an article around that video so that I can publish it to my website, wpeagle.com. The problem is, is that writing doesn't always come easy for me. Even though I've got the video in front of me, I mean, all I've got to do is re-watch it and then write about it. I do find it quite difficult. So I've been looking for an AI tool that can help me convert that video into an article. Well, at least get me started anyway. So I've been playing around with a couple of tools. They're both free, by the way, which is good. And I'm gonna just share with you right now exactly how I've been using them, which one I think is the best, and the process that I've been going through to create the articles from my videos. So let's get on the computer and let me show you. Okay, so here's my channel. There's a couple of videos that I need to write up, so I'll just choose one um, to use in this example. I'm doing this on the fly right now. It's uh, I have been practicing and playing around. I have been using AI, and I, I do know which is my favorite tool. But uh, for this example, I thought we'd just freestyle it, see how it goes. Now, I will add a little caveat that the videos that I want to create articles about are these style of videos, Shush. which are the um, you know vlog style um, videos. So they're a little bit rambly, a little bit maybe tricky for the AI to get uh, get a hold of, but at the moment they're the bulk of my videos because I'm finding them the easiest to create. Um, videos like this take take quite a bit of time. And I have to set up all, all the lights and stuff. So yeah, it's a vlog style video. The first tool that we'll, we'll test out is harper.ai. I wanna say arpa.ai because because I'm learning a lot of Spanish, you know, they don't pronounce H in Spanish. So I've started not pronouncing H in English, which sounds weird. So it's harper.ai, you'll find links below. Um, yeah, you can do a lot, of, with, lot with the free uh, version of Harper. And uh, I've got it installed, it's a, it's a browser extension. And as you can see, there's um, there's like this button here, which says summarize with AI. Although that's not the one I want to use, I'm um, gonna try and get it to create an article for me. Now, when creating these articles, I do want them to match my style, my tone. And I've already trained Harper on my style. Well, at least I think I have by feeding it in some examples of articles that I have written by hand that are already on my website. So let's fire up um, Harper, it's this little button here. And then we can start entering some commands down the bottom here. So let's start with uh, compose. And if we press enter, it's gonna take a look at the, uh, the page. Of course, you need to be on the video that you wanna write about before you do this. And it started to write, and it's writing it in the third person, which is not what I want. I want it in the first person, like I've written it. So let's um, see if we can get it to rewrite um, in the first person. Just by, uh, <laughs> in the video, I, Alex Cooper, talk about the difficult, yeah, okay. Um, okay. Let's see if we can uh, get it to expand it. Um, there's a complete article. I mean, it works just like ChatGPT and any of the other um, AI tools. You can just like talk to it, or you can use some of those um, those slash commands. Rewrite button as a complete article with paragraphs. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay, so it's it's writing it in a very AI style, you know, with language that no human really uses. Okay, um, let's see if we can get it to do it in my style. Uh, rewrite again in the same format, but mimic my style. It's still writing it in a very AI kind of way. I mean, it's not bad. It's probably enough for me to get started, if I'm honest. I could go through this and I could rewrite it so that it was a little bit more friendly, a little bit more casual, a little bit more in my style. Um, but yeah, and, and the video is not particularly long, it's only five minutes, so the article doesn't need to be particularly long either. Of course, if it was a much longer video, we'd, we'd probably get a much longer um, 
article. I mean, but I would never use words like furthermore. Uh, well, matching the conversion efficiency, they're just... <sighs> okay, let me move on to the next tool that I want to show you, which I think is actually much better. And um, it's Google Gemini. So uh, Google Gemini, free tool, you know where it is. Just search for it, or gemini.google.com. Now, what I find with Gemini is it doesn't remember too much stuff. Maybe you need the advanced one. So I'm going to train it first on my, um, my start of writing. Uh, and to do that, I will uh, fire up an article that I've got in here that's that's fairly long. This one's quite long, just so I can teach it. Um, so let's give it a command. Let's. I just had to move the little recording thing. It was in the way. Learn my style of writing from this article. Then I'll paste that in. Now Google Gemini is going to go away and read the article and figure out how I write, probably quite badly. Sure, I've learned your writing stuff in the article. I'll try my best to follow your writing style in the future. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, there is. Uh, thank you, Gemini. You're very polite. Um, please, uh, do I need to say please? I think it always helps with AI to say please. Maybe I should have said please to Harper. Um, please write a article in my style in the first person about this video. Now I'm gonna paste in a link to the video, this one here. Well, let's see what we get. Should have said an article, got my English. And the, the YouTuber WP, okay. So it's got it a little bit wrong because it's, again, it's writing it in the third person. I'm gonna do that again. Rewrite. I'm gonna actually give it some more details. I created the video. So please, I'm gonna drop with the, the niceties. So uh, rewrite it in my style in the, maybe I should put first person like this. Let's see what that gives us, huh? I don't know if that prompt's good enough, actually. Ah, okay. Now, I much prefer the style. It is a lot more friendly, and it's kind of, sort of like I would write. Um, okay, maybe just rewrite one more time. You're right, so it flows better. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a little bit short. I mean, I'm, I'll publish this on my website so you can see exactly what it looks like. And you'll find links to the article below. But yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know. I, I prefer Google Gemini. Maybe with a bit more prompts, we could um, make it better. Let's try again. Rewrite um, closer to my style um, with shorter paragraphs. Let's see. Yo, everyone, WP. Oh, God, that's cringe. I would never say why conversions, baby. Okay. Make it longer. I... Okay. It's not bad. Um, maybe we should try uh, try one more video. Let's just see if that uh, that improves. What have we got? Um, we've got something that looks a little bit longer that it might be able to. Get its um, teeth into. 
So we've got this tutorial video. Let's see what it can do with this. Which is a how, which is a tutorial. It's going to go and watch the video. It's, again, it's written it in the third person. Rewrite it in the first person in my style. Okay. You can include screenshots from the video. Let's ask it. Okay, no screenshots. Well, there we go. I mean, I think Gemini is better. Maybe you're like Harper. I know that Harper, I should say. I know that... Um, other people have had some great success with, with Harper. I just find that however much I try and teach it my style, it doesn't quite get it to the casual, fun writing style that Gemini does. That's my main issue with Harper. But yeah, I'd love to know your experiences. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. Are you gonna try out uh, Google Gemini to help you create some articles from YouTube videos? Let me know in the comments. I do love hearing from you and I, I read all the comments that I get and I will try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Anyway, until next time, good luck with your sites. See you later.